Welcome to this technical video, which aims to provide an overview of how to teach and pick up a regular shaped object using the parametric mode. To teach an object and to pick it up, tap the program button at the top of the screen. Tap the UR Caps button in the navigation pane on the left. Select Cam Locate to add a Cam Locate node to the program tree. Tap the Teach Object button to start the Teach Object wizard. Choose a snapshot position. Tap and hold the Move button if the robot is not at the snapshot position. We will now address the parametric mode. In the first step of the parametric teaching method, you need to select the shape of the object you wish to teach. Whether it's the circle, ring, rectangle, or square. Once this task is duly completed, you should enter as accurately as possible the dimensions of the object and tap the check button. When tapping the define button, the wizard goes straight to the configure model step, which is the exact same as the automatic teaching method. Now take a picture. You will notice the lowest obtained score. Now move the part in the field of view and retake the image. You should test all possible orientations and locations of the parts you desire to locate. Once you have tested in the field of view, adjust the threshold around the lowest obtained score. Set the score a few points below the lowest obtained score. Once you're satisfied with the results, tap the saving icon. Now at the set model position, take a picture and save the reference position. Tap the coordinate button in the upper left corner of the screen. A pop-up will display the coordinates of the object relative to the robot base. Save the configuration to complete the wizard. This puts an end to the parametric teaching mode. To access the cam locate node while running the program, you need to be at the snapshot position. To do so, insert a move J. And set the waypoint to the snapshot position. The easiest way to reach the snapshot position is to tap the cam locate node and under the command tab, tap the snapshot button. Ensure to hold the snapshot button. Once your position is reached, set the waypoint to the current robot position. To teach the pick motion, insert a move L node underneath the four objects found statement. Change the feature reference of the move node to the snapshot feature point created during the calibration process. Then create a first waypoint called Approach. And position the gripper over the object. Set this waypoint. Create a second waypoint called Pick and position the object between the gripper fingertips. Set this waypoint. Then insert a gripper node, 
Tap the Edit Action button and set the Close Action. To exit the pick position, copy and paste a previously created approach waypoint after the gripper node. To finish, add a move J and create a last waypoint. The waypoint will be called Place. Set this waypoint to your desired place position. And finally, to insert a gripper node, tap the Edit Action button and set an open action. That's it! You successfully taught a pick-in-place application using the Vision System. See you in the next video, where we will program the advanced features of the RISC camera.